Okay, Lana, you're on. So um, you could just tell us pretty much what's going on with you and then your your bag and what you have to get hooked up to. And just take a walk through and just let us just know pretty much what your daily living okay. is like. Okay. Like. Yeah. Okay, first of all, this is what I carry my LVAT in. I want to show you. I have a charger and it just reads out um, what's going on with the heart. And okay. I have uh, two of these batteries. And yes, they are pretty heavy. They are heavy. Okay. Oh, wow. Yes, they're pretty heavy. Okay, and then I just carry it in. I have different bags that I carry it in. Yeah, you I have pink in. and have yeah, all kinds of have pretty all colors. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so that. first of all, I had breast cancer. The chemotherapy is what damaged my heart and sent me into congestive heart failure. We tried with medications to see if the heart would get better, but it didn't. So mm -hmm. then that leads us to the LVAD. Oh, okay. okay so so where, the, what's in your heart though? Where's the LVAD? Is? The LVAD is located on the left side of the okay. heart. Okay. That's uh, the left ventricular assisted device. Oh, okay. So, so they pretty, put a hole in the left side of the heart mm -hmm. and they put the device in and the device is what pumps the blood through my body. I don't have a pulse or heartbeat mm. and um, I wish that wow. you could hear it but um, so this is just my daily yeah stuff, so so yeah so you don't have a pulse of a heartbeat or anything no. like that so the machine actually just doing it for yourself it's actually pumping the okay. blood throughout my body and that's, that's pretty new me alive. yeah it's pretty new right it's, it's it's been around for more than 10 years oh okay yeah so but it's new to me I never yeah. heard of it either okay the, nobody okay. I knew ever heard of it either so yeah, because the other people have these other things. What do you call those other devices that they put in the heart? Um, a, like a, not um, a defibrillator, but a, a pacemaker. Pacemaker, yeah, pacemaker. So this my, is my heart was the... beyond a uh, pacemaker. Oh, so you couldn't get a pacemaker? No. Okay. But I do have a, a, a defibrillator. Oh, okay. And I'll show you what the defibrillator is. Okay. This device, it reads the defibrillator. Mm-hmm. And it'll tell, it'll, it tells you what to do. But it, it tells the doctor... It breeds on its own every couple of months, but if I feel different or feel something going on, mm -hmm. I read it. I, I lift it up, like it's saying lift up, oh. and I allow it to read my device. And um, it reads the it's device, mm -hmm. yes, and it'll tell the doctors what's going on oh, okay. with it. With the wow. device. So you got communication through that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's pretty good um, though. These are just my batteries, mm -hmm. charger. I have it. Um, Four sets of twos. Okay. Also, so this this down here, I have a device. I have a what is it called? I have a, a device that's inside me. Also, it's called a cardio mems. Oh, okay. The cardio mems. It's a uh, it reads a cardio man mems. I lay on this pillow, uh -huh. and it electronically reads. See, it's a cardio lens. Oh, okay. It'll read uh, if my heart is dry. Oh, wow. It'll tell if I have too much fluid. Hmm. And it's it's Wi-Fi. It, it connects to, it sends it right to the doctor. Okay. So the doctor knows. So what if Wi-Fi go off? Will you be in a danger or anything like um, that? No, I, I know sometimes I have a hard time with the weather because it's Wi-Fi. Oh. Sometimes when it's rainy or whatever, it'll not go through as fast or... I have to keep trying to send it through, but um, it's if the electricity goes out and I'm connected to yeah. my uh, wall unit, mm -hmm. which I'll go over here and show you the wall unit. Okay. At night, this is my wall unit. So when I'm not connected to the batteries, I'm connected to this. Oh, so you got to sleep with that every night. Every night. And it's called a wall unit? It's the wall unit. It mm -hmm. also, if, if the... Um, Electricity went out mm -hmm. while I was connected to this. I would have to, within 30 seconds, get connected to um, the batteries again. Oh, I see. Because it'll it, beep. That's what keeps it. It'll scream. Oh, it'll scream. I'll show you. Mm -hmm. You want to hear it? If you want to. I mean, it it's won't like this. send any types of alarm no, to your doctor not. or anything like that. It doesn't. Okay. So we'll go ahead. <laughs> it must be pretty loud. It is. So this will happen if you're sleeping and, and something happens. So it alert you by this loud noise, right? Yes, it'll alert you. So 
so it's out. It's not... Okay, there it is. Let it wait till the green light. Oh, now. okay. So this is what at night. This is what it'll sound like if something happens. Well, it's not. It's not. Not uh... doing it. Oh, well, it's okay. No, I'll show you really quick. This is what it'll sound like. Okay, then. Okay, I, I can't do it. I wanted to show you the sound that it makes, but I can't do it because I'm not hooked to it. Oh. Because if I'm hooked to it, that's when it'll scream. Mm -hmm. and it's that's like when a, it's important. Yeah, is it loud like a alarm, like a fire alarm, that type of thing? It's like a, a high-pitched scream. Oh. Okay, yes. this, like my charger, my, mm -hmm. yeah, this is my charger. And I'll show you, like, every day I have to do this. Uh, it, and it's louder than that. What is that on there? Is it showing any numbers? Pump speed, 550. And it's also say HeartMate 3. That's what's this defibrillator. I mean, LVAB called HeartMate 3. Mm -hmm. well, if you think this is loud, well, this is like it's more 100 louder times than louder than this because it, it has to wake you up. Wow. And this is just a self-test. They got a wrench and a heart and the battery. And okay. if it's not testing, like I did have a uh, red heart is the worst. Okay. I did have a red heart alarm. Oh. And it was saying that uh, my heart was drying out. Mm. So this, the, the, it went off. If I get this, that means something is wrong with the device. Oh. If you get the wrench or something oh, like that. I see. Or if I get that, it's something up with the battery. Yeah, the low batteries battery. Or low oh, or, you okay. know, not working. So, okay. Yeah. So it's louder than that. Yeah. Which so, is pretty scary. So tell us uh, what's the status you are in now. Are you like looking for another heart? Or? Yes. Right now, I am not on the heart transplant list. Um, it's been like two years, um, eight months since mm -hmm. I had the LVAD. Mm -hmm. um, I have to lose, I think, 17 more pounds oh, okay. before I can get on the mm -hmm. LVAD. I mean, on the heart transplant. Get on the heart transplant. Oh, so, yeah. And you're going to yes, do it. You're going to do it. That's my goal is to, yes. you know, to get a new heart. We're sending it out to the universe of God as yes. we know him. That is going to happen. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm working hard on that. And, it's and so Saturday we're going to do a race, right? A Saturday is a, uh, it's called the Heart Walk. Um, my hospital of where I got my device from, mm -hmm. Sharp Memorial in San Diego, mm -hmm. um, where they do a heart. It's all the... the um, all of the hospitals that the heart, the cardiac hospitals in uh, San, San Diego. Diego. Okay, it's um, going to do that. We'll be doing a walk. Okay. I now have a team. All right. We call and Team Lana. I'm we'll, on that team. Yes. Yes. And hopefully um, you'll get to see us when when we're there. Okay. Yes, we, we, we it's will. It's all for a cause. Okay. Somebody walked for me, so mm -hmm. now I'm walking for myself and the next person. Well, great. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And yes, guys, thank you for watching. And stay tuned for the walk tomorrow. And um walking for Lana. Okay, these are the shirts that we're gonna have. It's called let's see, Team Lana right here. Team Lana. So we're gonna walk for a good cause. And I'll see you guys at the walk with a lot of spirit. And um, like I say, always do something good, always do something uh very productive, you know, helping people, giving and everything like that. That's all part of living a full circle life. We have to give sometime. We have to um, help sometime, okay? It's okay. See you at the walk.